Atalanta have created history in the Serie A, scoring 98 goals this season, which is just unbelievable for a team like them. You'd expect a team like Juventus, maybe Inter Milan, maybe AC Milan or Fold to break such records and reach such unbelievable high-scoring heights. But this time, it was Atalanta and they've had a phenomenal season, not just domestically. In the Champions League, they're alive and well in the quarterfinals with every possibility to make it further. They've had one hell of a season with players like Gomez, Ilicic, Zapata all being in top form. So with the Champions League looming and resuming in a few days, I thought, why not do an Atalanta Champions League challenge? But we're going to spice things up a bit. So basically, what we're going to be doing in today's video is that I'll be giving Atalanta 1 billion euros to spend to basically improve this team as much as possible. Now, there is a catch. It's not going to be that simple. We're going to have to follow a five-minute timer and make all our signings within that time period. We cannot make signings before or after that time period. So, that's going to be a challenge. We're going to have to act really quick. I haven't done a challenge like this in a while, so I thought, you know what, let's spice things up. Also, we're going to do only one season. So, we've got 1 billion euros to spend, one season to improve the team. If we win the Champions League, we succeed in the challenge. If we don't, it it's a big failure. We're going to be chasing a few more objectives in this challenge, one of them being the Scudetto winning the Italian League and also being a top scorer in this Serie A. So let's see how many of these objectives we can take off. This is going to be a pretty intense challenge. Five minutes to make any signings we want. Champions League, the ultimate goal. So we've got to be smart with what we do. It's going to be fun. So if you guys are excited for today's Atlanta challenge, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these Champions League challenges with, of course, the Champions League resuming. Let me know in the comments section and let's get this underway. Also, if you guys are interested in a full-blown Atlanta career mode, a friend of mine, Karan, is doing a series with them. So go check his series out. I'll have a link in maybe the I button, top right of your screen, somewhere there. So just click it and you can, you know, check his series out and subscribe to him as well. Okay, before we get on with the transfers and start the challenge and the countdown, let's first take a look at the team we've got here. The attack looks fantastic. I think I'm going to stick with this formation. Ilicic, Zapata, Alejandro Gomez. We, we're going to sign a ton of midfielders, that's for sure, to get that rating up. It doesn't have to be realistic, any of the signings we make. We're just looking to build the best possible team to win us the Champions League. And of course, if I haven't mentioned it already, we're going to have to simulate every single game until the end. It's all about managing our time in those five minutes because, yeah, that's going to be key. The more number of players we can sign, the better it's going to be. Let's get the challenge underway. So guys, I've got my phone here and we're going to start the challenge now in three two one let's go five minutes to make any signings we want and this is going to be tough because i don't have a short list yet first of all i want to sign the big boy players and that's leo messi we've got unlimited money there's no way in hell i'm not signing messi we want to win the champions league and all we need the best player in the world and let's bring in leo messi let's delegate to buy because i think that's the smart way to do to save time we're already 20 seconds in so signing messi is key now for the left side I want to bring in Neymar, but how expensive is Neymar going to be? Like, we want to win the Champions League, boys. We need to make signings like this. So, let's reunite Messi and Neymar. Good Lord, Neymar is going to be mad expensive. That is a quarter of our budget gone already. But, hey, let's just go for it. We still need to negotiate the contracts and all. But Neymar and Messi are almost in there. Come on, let's keep pushing. We've got two players in here. Midfielders now, because the midfield situation is pretty dire. I'm thinking we go for Pjanic. Yeah, probably not Pjanic. Maybe someone else. Maybe someone else. I, can't, I really can't think of anyone now. Let's go for Luka Modric because he should be cheap because of his age. Luka Modric, 33-year-old. Contract expiring. We could get him on a bargain deal. That is nice. Delegate to buy. Brilliant. And let, let's shoot in for more players now. More midfielders. Let's go for Tony Cruz as well. Another Real Madrid man. He's old as well, so we could get him. Oh, not Felix Cruz, not Felix Cruz. That is wasted time. That is a bit of a time waster for me. Let's go Cruz again. Where's Cruz? There he is, Tony Cruz, 29-year-old. I'm going to try and bring in older players because they'll be cheaper. And, of course, the fact that, you know, player growth doesn't matter in this challenge. It is just a smart thing to do. So, we've got four players in here. Now, we need a few defenders as well. Who do I go for defenders? Why not weaken one of our rivals by getting Chiellini in? It's just, it just feels like a smart thing to do. And that is what we're going to do. Um, Jorginho, Chiellini. Let's delegate to buy. And that is done as well. Centre-backs, Delict. Is it possible to sign Delict? Or is he a new signing for Juve? I think he is a new signing. Yeah, we can't. Can we get Delict? Let's check. 
Yeah, we can't get Bilic. That is a bummer. I would love to weaken Juve as much as possible. I do want more defenders, though. I really do want more defenders. Um, let's go Koulibaly. Weaken another rival to, you know, win the Serie A. We got to do stuff like this. Already two and a half minutes in. This is mad. This is going to be a lot harder than I expected to do. Delegate to buy. You know what? I'm going to start simming a few days ahead now because last thing I want is not having anybody confirmed. That'd be, that'd be a huge bummer. So let's, let's now simulate. Why is it taking so much time? Please EA, get the simulations underway. This is painful now. We're still stuck on, on Monday. Please, come on. Finally, we're moving. Please just accept some of the offers. Okay, perfect, perfect. Agreements are coming in. Let's delegate a contract. Accept, accept, contract, um, delegate as well. Let's just give them how however much money they want. Delegate. Oh god, Neymar's just gonna get so much money. Hopefully, these two will accept. This is progress now. Kulibali, Neymar. We've got about two minutes left. I think this challenge is gonna be super, super hard. Chiellini as well. Let's get that done. Accept offer. Delegate once again. Um... Yeah, let's just go for this. Don't want to mess about. Chiellini done. Can I sign more players? I want to sign a top-class keeper. Do we have a top-class keeper? Yeah, no, we don't. We need a top-class keeper. Jano Black, Jano Black, Jano Black. We got to bring Jano Black in. Where's Oblak? There you go. There he is. Quickly, quickly. We've got about one and a half minutes left. This is intense. Delegate to buy. Let's get that sorted. Can we get, like, one more centre-back? Or, like, a left mid as well? Okay, wait. Hakimi, no, he's out on loan. He's out on loan. Oh, I want a centre-back. I can't think of a centre- Oh, Sergio Ramos. Who else but Sergio Ramos? Come on. Let's bring Ramos in. Where's Sergio Ramos? Where's Sergio Ramos? One minute left, boys. One minute left. Shortlist and view. Delegate to buy. There you go. That's done. I also want to bring in Trent. You know, to give us something more in that right side. Let's bring Trent as well. Oh, we got to be quick. Just 50 seconds to go, boys. This is too intense. This is too intense. Delegate to buy. That's done. Do we have enough money to get all these signings done? I don't even know, but let's keep pushing. 40 seconds, and we got to accept all these offers. Koulibaly offer accepted. Accept. There you go. That's done. Brilliant. One signing made with 30 seconds to go. Agreement for Cruz. Um, accept offer. Delegate. I'm just going to go for... Oh my god, just 25 seconds to go. Accept. Delegate. Accept. Oh, I think I've messed up. Just 20 seconds to go, boys. Accept. Delegate. Accept. This is too intense. We got to push forward and at least get the deals done. Oh, I'm, I'm just backing out here. 10 seconds to go, boys. 10 seconds to go. Neymar offer accepted. Neymar offer accepted. Accepted. We've got Neymar done. We've got Chiellini done. But do we have time for Messi? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. There you go. The timer is up. We've messed up, boys. This was a lot harder than I expe accepted or ex expected. Can't even speak. Because of the amount of signings we were forced to make. This is a mess. This is a mess. Chiellini, Neymar, Koulibaly done. We couldn't complete Cruz, Modric, Messi or Trent. I was super slow, man. I was super slow. I doubt we're going to complete this challenge now. It's going to be a massive failure, boys. We'll see, though. We'll see. Messi declined the contract for some reason. But honestly, we could pretty much get the Ramos and Oblak deal done. That is such a bummer. Honestly, that's tough. Okay, so we end off the challenge with this team. Neymar comes in, a big transfer. Chiellini, Koulibaly as well, but we could only secure three transfers. And because, to you know, get the best possible outcome from this team, I've put Neymar on the left and a bit further forward than Hateboa. The rest of this team, man, especially that midfield, I I'm, I'm gutted that we couldn't improve it even further. But it is what it is, boys. It is what it is. Now... Let's hope we can at least equal what Atalanta did in real life. Maybe finishing, of course, as the leading goal scorers in the Serie A, as well as the Champions League quarterfinals finish. That is what I'm hoping for. We're done with the signings. Let's now simulate and see what we can do. Not gonna lie, we've got a pretty interesting Champions League group with Man City involved, but I still reckon we should be able to finish top two and make it to the round of 16. So I'm cool with that. Let's now simulate until the end and see how we perform in both the Champions League and the Serie A. Honestly, I think I've really messed up my transfers. I focused on too many players and because of that, we couldn't sign most of the players and that's just my fault. We really messed this challenge up. At least we got Neymar in. He could be a big player for us to get the goals in the Serie A and all. We'll see what happens now though, but I'm kind of disappointed with myself. This might be one of the first challenges where we outright just completely fail. Okay, season complete and this is not a good start. 69 is our 
manager rating i know the 69 jokes just uh, ignore that but yeah that is not a good look at all let's see how we fared in the premier not the premier league the serie i'm so used to being in the prem anyways let's check out what's happened in the serie a. and oh my god is this not good this is embarrassing 69 goals that is all we've scored in the serie a. 76 points we couldn't even secure top four with neymar that is mad that is honestly mad maybe it's because of the formation but i'm mad surprised how didn't we secure cha champions league football with with neymar koulibaly and chiellini that is just absurd honestly what happened in the cup did we win the cup at least now that juventus won too dominant man too dominant we got knocked out in the round three not even that where did we get knocked out in the cup? Am I missing my team here? There you go, in round of 16 against Genoa of all teams. It's been a disaster, boys. This is one of the first challenges I've been absolutely bodied. I doubt I've ever seen a bigger carry job than this Neymar with 32 goals for us. Zapata, I think, has been injured for a long time. Gomez as well was underperforming. I mean, in real life, these guys were balling out. But for me here, pretty embarrassing. Neymar with 32 goals and 20 assists. 52 goal contributions. This man has basically scored half our goals this season and that is just crazy good. Okay, now what about the Champions League? How embarrassing have we been in this competition? So Atletico Madrid do end up winning it. Let's go back all the way to the group stages. We do end up finishing second in the group. I presume we lost both our games to Man City. That makes sense. Yeah, they beat us 3-1 once and the second time they did beat us. Let me check. Let me check. I can't find the second result. There you go. 2-0 against... Uh, city so yeah they were the team that beat us our goal difference was only one that's that's a bit surprising so in the round of 16 we got smoked by real madrid wow 5-1 we couldn't even match what atlanta atlanta did in real life with all the signings that we made a bit embarrassing to be honest this challenge has been a massive failure not gonna lie i would love to do a challenge like this again because i think i've got a point to prove here we normally don't fail at challenges or just do this miserably because this is embarrassing but it is what it is i suppose it's been a lot of fun trying to do so but painful as well because we could only make three signings man how slow was i with the delegation stuff and all but hey it is what it is i messed up and next time we'll try and do better it's yeah that's all i can say not gonna lie even though we pretty much got bodied on the challenge i still enjoyed making this video we might do it with another team to get some redemption because this was frankly speaking embarrassing with that time to end off the video a massive failure, but at least now I know I've got to be quicker with all the delegation stuff for these timed challenges. Anyways, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, and well, I'll catch you all next time.